Conscious street. street. Get your mind right. Conscious street. Conscious street. We live out here. Conscious street. Put your hands up. Black power. Black power, family. This Black is power. Conscious street. Black power. Hotel. Hotel. We talking about consciousness today. Yeah, you know, consciousness is a funny thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers don't, and sisters, and even myself at one point, I didn't take the time to really understand what consciousness was. Consciousness, y'all need to get that shit in your head, get it in your family, get it in your kids, get it all around you, wear t-shirts with it on there. It's, it's waking up and realizing the realization of life. You know, if you're going to wake up and realize what consciousness is, you're going to do your thing, and you're going to, you know... You know, put it in yourself and you're going to walk up right and, you know, put it in your life and your education going to, you know, make a lot more sense to you. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, granted, the brain is a powerful tool, but if you ain't working it, then it's not going to go, it's not going to do nothing. You know, that's the reason why back in the day, the things they used to do back then, we can't do now. You know, I, you, I would like to know what it feel like to fly. You know, you ain't know that, did you? Yeah, we used to fly. Yeah, we did that. How come we can't get back to it? Cause we too busy calcifying our damn pineal gland with this fluoride that they putting in everything. Oh, fluoride. Oh, we in everything. It's scary to think how much fluoride is in your is in your daily diet. Yeah, and calcium. That's why it's called calcification. The calcifying of the pineal gland, cause it's calcium. Look at damn near everything in your refrigerator. I guarantee you there is some kind of calcium. Somewhere in there. Now, if you go look in your refrigerator, and, well, that's all about the shit that you be eating. If you ain't gonna eat right, no way, then you can't expect your body to be at 100%. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, it was, you know, everything was a lot more bigger and a lot more pure back then. You know what I mean? Juicy. More, way more juicy. Yeah. Hey, they, hey, I read that it used to take two men to carry a bundle of grapes back then. Two men used to with two sticks to carry a bundle of grapes. Now, can you imagine that? How big would you think them grapes had to be? A banana. They said they can only hold four grapes in their hand. Four grapes in their hand. That's now like, you can put about that's eight. That's like golf ball. Man, that's four grapes, my brother. Can you imagine just holding four grapes in your hand? It's like tennis balls. And how juicy they got to be. Yeah. And how potent they got. Just think of the wine they was making back then. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need a whole man. wine. All you need is about ten grapes of fifth. Man. You straight. Man, they, hey, they, they was drinking good. They were smoking good. They was just doing their thing. Wasn't nobody. For, I mean, you got to realize, man, wasn't no war with too much really going on back then. You know what I'm saying? You got to realize a uh, human, they didn't find a human, mo a human, uh, a human body like a human skeleton, skeleton, excuse me, until you no know, 100, 120,000 years ago. So you know, as long as the world been spinning around, the shit been going on. They only found, you know, the first human being bones they found 120,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And saying? I'm telling you now, it wasn't they white. They was black. They was black. Yeah, they weren't white. Because Europeans only been around 10,000 years. years. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. So, you know what I'm saying? That really get your, your wheels to thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? What was going on back then? You know what I mean? They uh, crunched history so tight. Yeah, when you think about it, it's like, it's kind of like for y'all who know anything about computers. It's like a WinZip file. You know, it's a compressed folder trying to fit 30,000 years into 20 minutes worth of talking. Yeah. It don't work. Yeah, we call that the we call that the uh, the slinky theory because you know you, you you can't pull that shit apart too much to see what's happening in between to realize the time in, in between events. Yeah. You know, once you realize the time in between events, then you realize you know now how possible all this shit is. <clears throat> the, how big the dinosaurs and dinosaurs were bigger than you think they were. Ten times bigger than you think. There were people walking around taller than the dinosaurs at the time of the dinosaurs around. But I guess you just think I'm just bullshitting her because you don't do your research and you don't know nothing about the Nephilims and the, yeah. and the you know, and the. Uh, As a matter of fact, hey. uh, the people of Ad and Tamu. Hey. There is a such thing as Amazon women. There is a such thing as Amazon women. Real Amazon women. Wonder Woman is a real person. Yes, she is. 
They might have wrote a comic book story about her and Twisted all this up, good stuff. Made her look like a white girl. Yeah, yeah like they normally do. It's a mythological Greek ancient story <laughs> that came from Egypt <laughs> off the walls. Somewhere they done, you know what I'm saying, concoct a story about it. Yeah. But Amazon women are are real. It is Actually, real. Amazon Amazon women was the first it was our first mothers. You know that's why they were so busily. You know you think about the cartoon Wonder Woman. You think about all those women on the on the on the uh, island by themselves with all those knives and you know defending themselves and ain't no men around. You know what I mean? You got to really think about the, the essence of Wonder Woman. They had to, she had the lasso of truth that she always put around a man so he would tell the truth. But yeah. the point is. Yeah. Go back to you know what I'm saying, but even then you gotta think of the fact of if the females were were here, where 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 did these these mysterious men come from? Yeah. So Good what question. planet is supposed to be coming around here? Where you know what I'm saying? You talking about Nibiru, right? Okay. okay. Nibiru, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. who okay. lives on the planet of Nibiru? Don't get me started. I guess that's why I come in, honey. You're going to make me talk about it. Oh, you know I was going to pull you in there. Oh, my God. I do not want to talk about the Sumerian tablets. I don't want to talk about none of that. Why? You don't want, you want me to go get your references? No. Secretary yeah. DJ Scooby will go get Raheem's <laughs> references. And Trip Ali's going to Google. <laughs> <laughs> Records is what y'all need to be into. I know everybody into their Egyptian shit, everybody into their slavery shit, everybody into their more shit. You know, actually, it's a good thing everybody into this, you know what I'm saying? But we all need to make a committee and all of us come together like they did the Council of Nasir when they made the Bible. You know, they had like shit, a bazillion copies of the Bible. So they had to make a council to come together so they could, you know, pick which ones that they was gonna roll with. You know what I'm saying? So after they wrote, after they picked which ones they was gonna roll with, they had Shakespeare write it on out the way they was gonna write it on. Actually, I take that back. I apologize. After the Council of Nicaea wrote it out, you know what I'm saying? Then King James got mad, goddamn it, and he wanted to go separate, so he did his own motherfucking thing. I, you know, I haven't really got the details of why he, you know, he went all, you know, like all got all soft and wanted to go. You know, I think it's some gay shit involved. If you, you know, it's leading to some gay Somewhere shit. In there, you know what I'm saying? Because Shakespeare is. and all them was doing that gay shit. And you seen the interview with a yes. vampire and all yes. that? All that yes. shit is saying tying in together, man. You know what I'm saying? So. Somewhere. Right, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta realize that, you know, this is what they was doing. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, goddamn, but I'm trying to wake everybody else up to see what the fuck I'm gonna see. If you ask me, I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna hide shit for none of these motherfuckers. Wake up. Okay, so now when we talking about what you were just talking about with the Sumerian tablets, now that, that goes back to like the Anunnaki, right? Yes. Uh, okay. okay, well, the Sumerian tablets is, you know, what came with no. Right after the Anunnaki and all the major events happened, then the Sumerian tablets dropped down. But you know, you gotta realize they made a basketball court full of mud. You know, a whole basketball court. Picture a basketball court full of mud. And then they wait for it to dry up and they wrote everything they had to write on these all through the mud. And then they chopped it all up in the tablets and hid it on the ground for us to find. Now, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people wanna say, oh, the Sumerian tablets ain't shit. The Sumerian tablets don't mean, you know, the boo 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 boo. But at the end of the day, when y'all looking on the walls of Egypt, y'all taking that shit serious. When y'all yeah. reading that Bible and shit, y'all taking that shit serious. When y'all in church every Sunday, putting that motherfucking money on the plate every Sunday, listening to that whole ass preacher, y'all taking that shit serious. So I don't know why they wouldn't take this shit serious. It's funny because if, if you think about it, they all connect. Yeah, they all it's same, all, same it's all connected. It's all saying the same things. It's all connected and it's all going somewhere. It's well, going somewhere. It's going if you reverse, okay. if you go to this, you find in this. If you go to this, you find something else. Yeah. If you go to this, you find something else. And it goes beyond and beyond See, the and thing beyond. Is, the thing with this situation right here, I'm gonna tell you how, how it started for me. The thing with it was I learned JFK really did it for me. You know, when I was sitting back watching JFK and I couldn't believe what the fuck I was seeing about, you know, our own government killing our own president like that. That's what really sparked it for me. 
it was a couple things that we had got ahead of time before that, you know, about the Masons and, you know, all that type of stuff. But, you know, I was watching it but really didn't understand it. But then once I watched JFK, that I just really did it right there. That just put it in the got to put a whole bunch of things in perspective. You got shit jumping. Yeah, because you think of it like, well, if they do that to the President of the Man. United States, what is they doing to me? To you know, and that goes back to the whole fluoride but, thing. But that goes back I mean, to the It's years later right now that they just not find out that they killed him over the money because he was trying to change the money back and get rid of the Fed. You know, yeah. the, 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 the federal the federal National Reserve Bank. And for anybody who don't know, the National Re the Federal Reserve Bank is not federal at all. It's not. It's actually a privately owned bank owned by shareholders. It is not a part of the government. And all you people putting your money in this bank, you need to get that shit up out of there. Yeah, see, you know, that's, that's a whole different subject. We're going to say that for another time. We're going to talk time. about uh, economics and reform. Because, you know, y'all think we just doing this shit like we just know. Like we just ain't got nothing to do. We just sitting around and, you know, we got to know. We real, we getting real serious at this. And, you know, we're going to put y'all on this consciousness. Church? Church. Hotel. 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 <laughs> Right, so I'm a um. Let me take y'all on the venture concert. I'm pretty sure all y'all know who Karis One is. Karis One. Hey, Karis One. He is one of the original. You know, he's Karis One is a special guy. Yes. A lot of people don't realize how special he is because sometime during the past future. I mean, I'm excuse me. <laughs> Sometime during the past, you know, I was born in 75 myself, so this was going on like early, you know, this was going on when I was born, like 70, 68, and shit like this, you know, um, people don't realize how everything is tied in, so I'm gonna give you a little history. You know, we had some earlier prophets named uh, uh, Cool Herc and Africa Bambata. Africa Bambata, his real name, I can't really remember it right now, but he went over to Africa. And he got with the Zulu king from Africa. And he, uh, the Zulu king made him a, 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 a king. So he came back and changed his name to African Bambata. So then you got Cool Herc. Cool Herc was also, uh, 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 they was like the same type of mirror. They were like the same type of mirror individuals. You know what I'm saying? They both had the same type of fire, but it was like, you know, one was different flavor. They were both different flavors, but they both did the same thing. So anyway, so anyway, you know, during all this time and all the hair rhyme was kicking in, was, you know what I'm saying, was uh, finishing off the Black Panthers and all this, you know what I'm saying, and you know, all the men was uh, going to jail and getting killed and getting beat to death and getting lynched and all this. So, you know, the mamas were taking care of us. So, you know, that's when uh, hip hop came in. So, Cool Herc and used to be out there or whatever, and they used to put these sounds together and the music together out there in the parking lots and didn't nobody ever know where it was because nobody wasn't no cell phones going on yeah, at this time. Yeah. So everybody had to literally walk around and to find out where the, where the, uh, where the hip hop was coming from. Mm -hmm. You know, was it over there? Was it over here at Cedar Park? Was it over there? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they even got, uh, they even got nitty. This is where the, uh, you know, remember when they used to spray paint on trains? Yeah. This is where that yeah. came from. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So everybody wanted to know where the party was at. They would spray paint on the, on the trains and let people know where the party was, where, where the hip hop was going to be at. So yeah, that's why everybody yeah. everybody would yeah, meet up yeah. and shit. You it's know like what I'm saying? Time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's where graffiti came in. Everybody started getting a little graffiti with it. And, you know, you know how black people is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got know, to see your graffiti moment. Yeah, I did my graffiti thing. You know what I'm saying? My all that running from the police shit and all that shit. With, you know, I did all that. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know that's deep too once we get talk about that. I'm going to say that's I'm going to say that subject for another time. You know, the, the, the graffiti and language and all that, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, black people create their own language, but back on the subject, you know, after uh, they started making more meetings and creating and uh, putting music together and, you know, we didn't have instruments and nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, but we, so we started putting stuff together, next thing you know, we started learning how to record ourselves, most of the stuff we were doing was live. You just a lot of people don't even realize that most of the stuff all that time was live. The instruments, the playing, yeah, the scratching, the turntable, all that was live yeah. all during that time. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, through all that right there, that's when all the creativity started coming in because we all, you know, was you know Afrocentric anyway. The most, most of the mothers, was, most of the mothers that was taking over the communities was the was the women or the girlfriends of the Black Panthers. 
Okay, yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so right. once the yeah, once the yeah, most yeah. of the men got killed and took them off, once the government tried to kill all the men, the women, the most of the Black Panther women was teaching all the other women they were still strong during this time. So that's where all the creativity and all the black power and the hip hop started coming in. So then once the hip hop come in and doing the eighties and you know, the late you know, during the late eighties and all that with the uh public enemies and the uh uh, you know, you had a, a whole slew of people like that. You know what I'm saying? Shout that out was to the brother, Professor Grip. Yeah, Professor, Professor Grip. Grip. <clears throat> you know, you had some of the earlier producers like uh, 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 Hank Shockley and the Bomb Squad. You know, you had earlier producers like um, you know, Busy B and all them. You know, it's, it's just like a you know a whole bunch of you know people that people don't ever mention. You know. Especially like nowadays, the young hip hop, they don't even know where, oh. where this stuff is coming from. Yeah. You know, it, it's like we almost need to build like a a, a a whole religion for hip hop. You know what I mean? Because hip hop has its own history. Because hip hop came up out of the oppression that you know after the JFK killings and after they killed Martin Luther King Jr. and Mount Luther and, and um, Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? And then you know they flooded our hood with with all that hair and shit and tried to you know you know depress us. Then shit, that's when all the uh, that's when you know the hip hop started coming in because the women had to take effect. Cause like you know, people just don't realize how important women are to our lives and our society as black people. You know, in order for us to come up, it's gonna have to be women. Yeah, and that makes no sense. And it's how your mama brought you in this world. She gonna take your ass out. That's where that came yeah. from, right there. If you don't build, if you don't put women where they're supposed to be, you don't realize the the order of women, you're never gonna be able to get ahead. You can't do this without. Them. Real talk, real talk. When you think about it, ain't too much stronger on this world than a, a black woman. Hey, that man hurt my hey. heart to see these brothers on the, internet, on the YouTube just disrespecting the black woman that, so bad. Man. That, oh my goodness. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to. Because I don't want people to go look. I don't want y'all to go look for this man. But his first name start with a time. He is a black ignorant person that I just and his and he speaks truth there's some truth in what he's saying but not everything he's saying is truth about our black people yeah, no I ain't I ain't up on it I ain't so hurtful hey, hey, I watch his brother man he is hey, man he be hurt he be built breaking sisters down so bad man it's the grateful man he be like, let me, let me put that up. But he be like, and white sister, people enjoy. Like, if you want to get ahead in life, you know, don't talk to a sister. You want to get ahead in life, don't. You know, oh, sister's wow. gonna bring you down. And, you know, get with you a white girl so if you want. Is, so he's saying, get lay with the devil. That's what he said. He is, he is saying. saying he is putting this on YouTube, saying, fuck black girls, get with all every race other than black girls. So black girls ain't gonna do nothing but bring you down. Oh, he's a self hating drug. Because, because. He's a, a pussy way, ass nigga. I wish I was around if I could slap his ass. Of, because some because some females understand what he's saying when he go his hour and two hours of talking random bullshit that he talk. But in a way it's like okay, he's you proven to me that okay, I am a black strong female. And this is what you don't like about me because I'm strong. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, okay. you need yeah. you a, a weakling or yeah, somebody that you can mand over and empower no just be over the bitch hey, or excuse me my bad but you know what I mean Females. these niggas nowadays are soft as fuck and on, and on, 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 a, on, on a, uh, a clear note as a black man if you getting with these white girls and you know you having children by them or whatever you getting with them and when you die where you think your money going it ain't going back to the black community. It's going oh. back to the white community. Mm -hmm. That's where your money going, back to the white. When you dead, how you going to make sure your money gets to where it's going? I mean, you know what I'm saying? You going to, hey, you white, make sure you, you take care of my money when I'm gone. And I on everybody sure black will, babe. <laughs> I got you. I know that's right. Just leave it all to me, she go baby. right to Beverly Hills and buy her, yep. her clothes and Rodale Drive. And, and she'll be married in the next Right now, Rolls Royce, and who own all these companies or these places she's spending the money? She gonna Little be broke baby. before you even know it. She ain't investing in nothing. She so you know, on that because the brother, the brother Professor Griff, when he did his um his um the segment he was doing, you can look it up on YouTube. 
he touched on a good point with the women and you know what I'm saying with uh, brothers and white women. You look at most of the successful men in all the sports. Most of them, I'm damn near all, all of them. Man. You know, it's, it's some um, it's some exceptions. Um, it's so few and far between it. I can't even think of none of y'all names. Ten percent. Hey, hey, that's what I'm. That's the, and that's the point right there. Out of one hundred percent. That's the point right yeah. there. And then the, the actors, the actors, I mean, and I mean, you see these white women, it's crazy. A white woman has to get breast implants. A white woman got to get ass implants. Hey, hence, we're going to use a prime example. My main man, Ice-T. He used to be my man. Hey, he, my Ice-T always be my man. Talking about the brother who went hey, doing cop killing. He made it. When I seen his white, when I seen his snow bunny, man, oh my god, I was in the joint when I seen her, man. I said, man, Ice T that made him a honey. Yeah. Made her from scratch, you know. I mean, man, that's just like, you know, going to the hardware store and get going to get your nails and, yeah, ain't she and your hammer. Like a Barbie doll. Uh, <laughs> ain't, ain't Coco an ex porn star? Man. That's a Barbie doll. She would never be as cold as Darlene. Have you ever seen Darlene? I like Darlene was his first honey when, they, when he first got on, when yeah. he first started rapping. Man, he used to have her on the cover. She was that fine. Mm. He used to have her on the cover with him. You know what I'm saying? She was that, she was the truth. Him and his DJ, E. Lee. Was she white? Hmm? Was she white? No, she was, uh, uh, she was like, um, Mulatto. she was like black and Korean or something like that or whatever. Oh, like, yeah, he had him on. Yeah. He oh, yeah. She was always nice. Like, she was always the cold and all that. Try to I mean, recreate see, her. You know, see, people, you got to realize how hip hop used to go. That's the back to what I was saying. How hip hop used to run back then. People used to be like Harris One. He was married through his whole rap career. A lot of people didn't, you know, a lot of people don't even know that. He just got divorced. Uh, her name was Miss Melody. You know what I'm saying? She used to do her thing with him. Every, you know what I'm saying? They used to do, they used to do all their shows together, all that, you know what I'm saying? She used to you know, record, all that. You know, hip hop used to be like family and girlfriend orientated back then but nowadays so you know it's like a disrespectful thing for a guy to do a song with his girlfriend yeah. or whatever that's why right Jay, that's why Jay-Z and Beyonce getting down so much because they seem like a cute couple because they, they the only people doing this type of stuff yeah you know yeah. Chris Brown and Rihanna was on the on the kind of on the road you know what I'm saying until they got the I still think they got to the fighting about uh, uh uh her fucking Jay-Z <laughs> Good be. Hey man, I just seen something today that was so fucked up, man. I just seen some. I just seen something that allegedly, you no, know, uh, 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 that you know suggests that Jay Z was fucking with um, um, damn, what's that boy name? I don't want to say no fake ass name. I'm gonna I'm give. I'm gonna get the research again. But him and another uh, Foxy Brown. I seen no report by Foxy Brown that said that Jay Z liked it, but he he liked to chase. Uh, transvestites. What? Wow. Hey, hey, hey. I heard that before somewhere else. Yeah. I've heard that before somewhere Uh-oh. else. Hey, man. Uh-oh, I, don't, Jay. Hey, hey. I don't know why. Yeah, every, I, I, don't know, I don't even know why everybody's fucking with Jay Z like I don't that. Know. Man. I, did hit I don't even know why everybody hey, just. I mean, I, mean, I ain't never heard that shit. Man, but Jay, the, he the motherfucking police, man. Oh yeah, yeah. I know we snitched on them brothers and got all they uh, officers raided because they was trying what? to take the crack out the rap gang. Yeah. What? You know. Yeah. You know. Jay, I, I, don't, Jay, you know, I can't respect you after that. Jay, one, Jay, Jay Prince, Irv Gotti, and I'm, I'm guessing Suge Knight. All them was trying to hook up together to make our first black distribution company. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Jay Prince was the state, you know, the one, you know, uh, you know, Pimp C. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. You see how much damage went to his camp? We see what Still happened. Still don't know Pimp what happened C. to Pimp C. Yeah. And he and Pimp C was finna get, you know, he was just getting out of jail too. They know yeah. what's finna be some madness and going Pimp on. Pimp C was out here exposed. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. All the little Wayne kissing, all the yeah. bad shit going on. That, that was all I was finna say, man. It seemed like, like you were saying earlier, bro. You know, hip hop went from you know uplifting the family. You know, it was real family oriented. Right. Now it's fuck these bitches, fuck your homie. Yeah. You know. Fuck these bitches. I mean, I'm literally, gonna pop like, these literally bitch. like, fuck your homie, bend him over yeah, and put him in. Yeah, literally. I mean, that literally. It's like fuck these bitches, fuck your homie type shit. Pop, like everywhere you look, pop these ten or three ecstasies right there. Any kind of way. Fuck, but you don't want to know. But you want to. But you want to know what's funny though. How you know? How, they say cycles come around, right? Yeah. Okay, so the cycle coming around again where, you know, but like before when they flooded our hood, they they flooded, flooded the hood with heroin and, 
you know, they, they took away all the men and they're trying to get in control of the women. But this time around, when it came around, when this type of cycle come back around right now, the women ain't prepared for it this time. Yeah. Because they flooded us because, with you know, pills. Because, you know, all the women are slow and they ain't jumping up the way they're supposed to be. They flooded us now, with pills. It's like, you got these young girls out here who have babies just so they can get on the EHS. You know what I'm saying? Just so they can get a damn cash assistance or... Food oh, I'm Come paying. On, oh, I'm paying. I'm paying fifty dollars a month. I, I'm giving up my whole big old house and all my privacy just to pay fifty dollars a month. Oh, I can't get no job though, or nothing like that. But I can pay this. All I gotta do is pay fifty dollars a month, and I ain't never gotta move. I, but you know, I'm, I'm straight. Right. Yeah. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. Really? Man, this condition of our sister. Ain't worry about nothing. This, <laughs> you ain't worry about nothing. <laughs> got your food stamps. Ain't worry about nothing. You should have seen them sisters clowning in that station about the oh, food no, stamps, I, I, man. man, they was in there scrapping like wild dogs up in there, man. I, I, I was so ashamed to see our sister act like that at the food stamp office. At the food Girl, stamp I just office. saw a video today, right? Wow. This lady, it was uh, these two kids on. It was uh, they on and they mom. They left to drop this dude off who was uh, doing their lawn or some stuff, something like that. The house burns down. Now I don't know, I can't remember if the two little boys that was two and three years old. They were left at the house by themselves, by themselves, house burned down, can't remember if the kids died. Now this lady said this on live news. When they asked her about, you know, the burn the house burning down, she said like she don't feel bad about leaving the kids at home by themselves. You know, but she don't know if they started the fire. Or if somebody threw something in there. Leave the kids at the house by themselves. By themselves. Was this but a black look, lady? Black lady. But oh, this is the wow. worst part. Then she, she starts joking and says, I really want to get in the house to see if my purse burnt up. Because I got my food stamp card and oh. everything in there. Are you serious? I'm dead. If you think I'm lying, I got the video on my phone. Matter of fact, family, I'm going to let y'all hear it. Family, that ain't black power right there, family. That's, that ain't black power. That ain't black power. I'm trying to tell y'all, look, family, we gotta get, we, we gotta do something right now, man. Our sister's going down. We you know what I'm saying we gotta stop being punk ass oh. niggas. Get our ass up and start taking care of these babies, family. Check our other website out, family. We're on there. Or check our oh. other two with them dude, little young boys out there rapping about sucking dick. Y'all niggas, hey, look, this shit is horrible, man. We gotta well, do something. And to the young lady that put her son on. On a, a, you took a picture of your son. That bitch took a picture of her son. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I don't know really you call. I don't call no black women bitches. And said, and my but son this bitch is rocking the. Is, put this her bitch son is rocking the fuck out these stilettos. Her son. She yeah. put her son. You ain't, ain't watched the whole thing. You ain't watched the she whole. She said thing. on her page. It said, my son is gay. Look at this, but he, this bitch is rocking these stilettos. Man. She said this on her page yes, with her did. son. Yes, she did. He is all of two and a half. Two. And she lol and this is funny to her. That shit ain't funny. That you're doing this to your son. And then we wonder why our kids are growing up fags. Hey. That we wondering why we, we women, we are doing this to our kids. Uh, uh, we doing this to our kids. I really want y'all to hit the family. Cause I, I think right. y'all might think I'm bullshit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Wow. I can't believe I can't I believe it. That, that is so crazy. Yeah, she did that. Look, and look, it's they, they see how they do it though? They got a brother. They got a brother yeah, interviewing the, interview. the, the interviewing the rest of the big black it, people down it there. It would be a brother. You gotta realize y'all, we we getting low on on gorillas out oh. here. But ain't no is, more gorillas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Part, ain't no more gorillas. Ain't no more gorilla this. And that's the even funny part, though, right? The same incident happened to a white couple. They left their house 
Mind you, there was no heat in the house. There was no water in the house. There was no electricity for real in the house. They was running the house off of kerosene, off of them kerosene lamps. You know them kerosene lamps? They're just an accident waiting to happen. Yes, and you leave the house, your kids is in bed, they babies, they sleep. You have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. They in bed, they sleep. You decide, oh, well, let's disappear for a few hours and just leave. The kerosene lamp is sitting next to the fabric couch and the fabric curtains. You leave, the house catch on fire, your kids burn down with the house. Okay, so in this, in in that, we look at it like, damn, where the fuck was y'all at when y'all house was catching on fire and why y'all kids in there and y'all ain't in there with them? Mm. What, what, okay, now, what happened to, the, to them people? Nothing. Nothing happened to them for real. Nothing really happened to them for real. And I'm pretty sure if we continue to watch the rest of that segment, that something pretty much happened to her because of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The comments on it was, I mean, everybody was on that, oh, I pray that bitch go to prison and she gonna burn in hell. And, and don't get me wrong, she was yeah. petty as she, I mean, you, I mean, you, your two nephews or nephew and niece or two nieces are in critical condition at the hospital because you left them unattended and the house burnt down. You left. You say you don't <laughs> feel bad about leaving these two, this two and three year old child at the house by themselves. Right. Let's get back, let's get back to the, let's get back to the point of hand. The point of hand here still is how Europeanized we all are. Because we all are, we know, People who like that shouldn't be watching kids. In the first place. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, if we were all a family, other family members should have been taking care of her. They knew she wasn't responsible. Yeah. They knew she, they, other families should have been stepping in. But yeah, every, so all the, a, 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 no, every, no, ain't no more community because everybody, because, you know, if you're watching TV, mm -hmm. you're watching all the Survivor series, you're watching all the, you know, all these type of programs to teach you to go for yourself. And you know what I'm saying? Movies. Mm -hmm. all, all these programs to teach you to be against your girl that you don't really know nothing about her you remember back in the day all i'm know y'all probably y'all younger than me but y'all y'all probably don't remember a show that used to come on called love connection yes. yeah i remember love now the love connection you know the love yeah. connection was an awesome show you know what i'm saying because you know you got a chance to meet a woman or whatever know her or whatever the case you know then they had another show that used to come on when i was in the joint um when they used to meet they used to meet up they used to meet and they go on a date i forgot what the name of that show was but you know you don't see no more positive dating shows like no, that. No, you don't. Now you see you know men, you know men being trapped in the back room with another fine woman and a uh, fine woman uh, coming on to coming on to him and he you know kissing her and you know his week coming shows out. Now about it's making real. relationships. Jerry Springer show, the Jerry love. Springer show, yes, like the Jerry Springer shows where one man is has so many pick of so many women. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It's just it's just killing the image of what we're seeing as as grown ups. Then you know, on top of that, we're not really you know looking at what our kids see every day. You know what I'm saying? We don't have time to really monitor what our kids seeing every day. You know, yeah. you have to realize the you know, I know time is going by every day, but people don't take the time to realize the dimensions of life. You know, when you are at a certain age, you only see things in a certain, a certain dimension. Way, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Certain ways. You know what I'm saying? And as you get older, then your vision and your sense progress. You know what I'm saying? So at that young age, that's why you remember so much shit, and it stays with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like the other, like I, I just realized my cousin came over, right? And he, you know, we was talking about dogs and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was talking about, you know, when I was younger and shit, you know how, how I used to have to put oil on my dog. On my granddaddy's dog when I was younger and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, and yeah. subconsciously I didn't even realize that I was doing that. I do that to my dog this day. When it's hot outside, I wipe oil down on this motherfucking ass. Hmm. There's no nigga in the street teaching me to do that. Yeah, it was you know what I'm saying? Did. No, I, I, I just when Amazing. it's hot outside, I just know to go get the oil and wipe the oil on him and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, I don't never thought about where that kicked in from. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that just you know it comes to show you how the mind works sometimes. Sometimes it's you know. Sometimes it's ahead, sometimes it's done. Dogs are a man's best friend. Yeah. No, it get it get no, it get a lot deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? With a man and his dog, mm -hmm. you cannot tag, take away from a man and his dog. Hey. 
we were we about time we about at the end of the show right now whatever so you know we want to thank y'all for listening thank y'all for tuning in we're gonna keep a lot more you know what i'm saying hotel hotel, hotel. all right black power black peace power. and black power family love stay conscious in the streets conscious, conscious streets